Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we are going to be doing my June TBR. So as always, I failed last month's TBR, but this time it was less because I wasn't in the mood for the books that I chose and more because I was in a freaking reading slump, which sucks. If you saw my mid-month wrap up, you will know that I literally, the first half of the month I did mostly rereads. Re it was like, I read like two new books and then it when you watch my May wrap up that will come out in a couple of days it oh god I read a fraction of the books that I normally do I went from being seven books ahead on my Goodreads goal to being three books behind so I hope to get back on track in June um because reading slumps suck y'all uh so <laughs> that is what I was dealing with for like all of June I was having a hard time choosing books because I didn't want to read books I said this in my mid-month wrap-up but like I don't like to read like anticipated five-star reads when I'm in the, a really bad reading slump because the fact that I'm in a slump affects the book like my rating of the book um so there are books that I'm sure that I read during reading slumps that I ended up giving like three stars when I probably would have loved them more if I wasn't in a reading slump when I read them just because my mood is affects the way I write books um so there are a whole bunch of books that I've been like really really um wanting to read but I was like struggling with the decision of do I read them during a reading slump or do I not read them during a reading slump so most of them I decided to not um so those will roll over I guess to this um month for June but some of them I did and I enjoyed them so I went from having like a five star book to having no idea what to pick up next so I did have a couple five star reads in June like new to me five star reads um but it didn't like get me out of my slumps so I was just really confused and I just want that to be over so we're gonna hope for June because a lot of the books that I'm putting on my June TBR are books that are by authors that I'm going to see signings see at signings this year I have two signings planned for this year and that's a polycon and um love in Vegas and a polycon is at the end of July and it's June which blows my freaking mind by the way that it's already almost the year's already almost halfway over but a polycon is like so soon that I'm like crap I thought I had all this time like in my head I'm like oh it's so far away it's so far away and I've been like thinking that for the last like couple of months it's not that far away it's like a month and a half so <laughs> I am like oh shit there's a whole bunch of authors that I've never read who are going to be at a polycon that I'm interested in reading so I'm like I should read them before I go to a polycon that makes sense I hope that makes sense um so a lot of the authors books that I chose for June my June TBR are authors who have books that I am interested in reading and that I want to see at polycon so I'm also not a person who buys books before reading them so if I want to have a physical copy to set um to get signed I have to have read it first or at least read one book by the author and like really enjoyed it because I don't want to end up buying like three books by an author who I will then end up hating their books which has happened to me before so I just I need to read at least one book for the author and like it before I can try some others um so this TBR is going to be a lot of authors from a polygon um or from Vegas and this will also be a couple of new releases there are a couple of new releases that I really am interested in reading for uh that come out in June so it's an ent a uh what's that word it's a large TBR uh for somebody who is just in a really bad reading slump and is still slightly in that reading slump but we're just gonna go with it I fail my TBRs every month so it doesn't matter these are ones that are on my radar that I would like to get to in June if the universe likes me. 
Okay, so the first book that I'm going to mention is uh, Everything For You by Chloe Lise. This one is a part of the Bergman Brothers series and I've read two books in the Bergman Brothers series. I can't believe I've only read two, but I've re read two and they're like favorites, favorites. So I love the Bergman series and I love Chloe Lise's books. And this one is an MM. It's a soccer romance. I think they're teammates and that just sounds amazing to me. This is one that the ebook came out in May but the audiobook doesn't come out in until June so I will be listening to the audiobook for this one. Um, I'm pretty positive that this book will deal with some sort of chronic illness or mental health representation because Chloe Lee's books always do that. Um, so that sounds fantastic to me. I love Chloe Lee's writing of the four books I think I've read by her and I am incredibly excited for this one and will definitely be reading this one because this is one that I was like really wanting to read in May and then the audiobook doesn't come out until June so MM and sports romance are like that's my shit so I will absolutely be reading this one and I am incredibly excited. The next one that is another uh, new release is one that actually came out in May. I think it was originally supposed to come out in June, but then they pushed, they like released it early in May. Um, and unfortunately it has no audiobook release date yet, but I'm going to attempt to read the ebook. We're going to see if my brain will let me. Um, but that is Always Practice Safe Hex by Juliet Cross. I love the Stay Est Bell series. I am caught up on this series. I have read all the books that have been out so far, which I think there are three of them. And then I've also read the bind up of like novellas that were in the series. So I'm super excited for this one. Also, all of the reviews that I've seen so far are five stars. Like every single one have said that this is like their favorite book in the series now. And I am so excited. This is a paranormal romance series. This one in particular follows a witch and a grim. I believe they're like competing um, against each other for something. So it's like enemies to lovers vibes. Um, and the hero is a grim like I said but the you don't really know a lot about what grims are they don't really explain it a lot in the series because the other characters like the characters you're following in the series the witches um the Savoie sisters they don't really know what grims are they're like so the grims themselves are so secretive so I'm so excited to have this hero be like this secretive paranormal creature that like not really anyone knows what their powers are and I'm hyped. I'm so excited and I really hope my brain will let me read this one. Um, Another new release that I am excited for that comes out in June, I think it comes out June 7th, is So Not Meant to Be by Megan Quinn. Um, I enjoy Megan Quinn's books. They're not like, she's not like an all-time favorite author or anything, but her books, I have given quite a few book, a few of her books four stars and higher. Um, there are some that I've given like two stars, but I still like her books and I, she's not somebody who I'm like going to read every single release from her, but there are, she, I still enjoy some of her books. And this one is one that I am excited for because I really liked the first book in the series, which was a not so meat cute. Um, I think I gave that one 4.5 or even 5 stars if I remember correctly and I really loved that one. It was a billionaire romance and this one is like a se sequel or like a second one so I think it follows somebody else from that uh, like one of the side characters from the first book. Um, so I am excited about this one. Um, Megan Quinn also always does simultaneous audio releases which I very much appreciate so I will be attempting to read this one when it comes out in the beginning of June. Then another new release is Last on the List by Amy Dawes. This is part of her Wait With Me, Wait For Me series, um, which is not my favorite series. I adore Amy Dawes and would actually consider her one of my favorite authors because of the amount of love that I have for the Harris Brothers series. But this series, the like whatever I, I just said, Wait For Me series, not my favorite. Um, I DNF'd the book first book and didn't really like the second book. The third book was okay. I think I gave it four stars. Um, and then I haven't read the one, the fourth book, I think. 
and I'm not really interested in reading the fourth book. Maybe I'll go back afterwards and read the fourth book if I like Last on the List. But based on what Amy Dawes has said about Last on the List, I think I'm going to like this one a lot more than the rest of the series. It is a single dad, which I absolutely love. Single dad is one of my favorite tropes. And it's, a, I think it's a nanny romance. And I have read quite a few nanny romances that I've enjoyed. And the heroine is plus sized. So I think that sounds fun. And I'm going to try it. Um, I love Amy Dawes' audiobooks. So even if the story is like not something that I will super love. The audiobooks are always a fun experience because they're duet narrations. So I'm going to try it and give this series another op opportunity to have a book that I love in it just because I do love the Harris Brothers series so much that I really want to love another one of Amy Dawes' series. Okay, so that's it for new releases that I had down. Um, and now the next ones are just pretty much ones that I've just been had my eye on or like I said are authors who are going to be at signings this year. So the first one is The Air by Sophie Lark. I have talked about The Air so many times in TBRs because I keep putting it on my freaking TBR and I keep not reading it. But I'm going to, I'm going to try again, I'm going to put it on again and I'm just going to give myself another opportunity to read it because it's a friends to lovers mafia romance, Hogwarts like setting, um, mafia school and that sounds amazing and so many people love it and I just haven't kept not getting to it so I'm really excited about it and I do want to get to it so I'm putting it back on my TBR. Also Sophie Lark is going to be at both of the signings that I mentioned so I'm so excited and I want to have all the Kingmaker series read by the time that I see her at least in Vegas not necessarily in a polycon because I have to wait for the rest of the audiobooks for the Kingmakers books to come out, but the Air audiobook is out and I do own it, so I want to at least have read the Air by the time I go to see her in a polycon, so I'm excited. The next one that I have is Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. I've actually never read a Tessa Bailey book, which kind of blows my mind because she was around, she has a lot of books that were hyped for the last couple of years that I've been in the, within the online book community, so I just never picked up her books, but Hook, Line, and Sinker is one that I'm actually interested in. I've had quite a few friends that I trust their reading tastes and we have similar reading tastes really like this book. Some of those friends didn't like the first book and I'm not really interested in reading the first book, which I think was called like, uh, It Happened One Summer, It Happens One Summer, something like that. Um, but I'm not really interested in that first book. so. I'm gonna try this this one which I think is actually considered a second one um but I'm int intrigued to try it and I picked it up at a bookstore for really cheap so I do have a physical copy of this one because I was on vacation and I wanted to buy a book um and they didn't have anything that I have already read in this bookstore so I did pick this up it was like 50% off so I do own a physical copy of this one, so either way I will get it signed at a Polycon. I will just give it away if I don't actually like the book. <laughs> then the next one that I have is Without You by Marley Valentine. There are a couple of books by Marley Valentine that I'm really interested in reading. She is going to be at I think a Polycon and I love MM books and Marley Valentine writes MM books and I've actually had a couple of her books on my radar for like multiple years now. Um, I have a friend who really really enjoys her books and I've just never picked them up so there are quite a few that I would like to get to but Without You is one that I decided to put on my TBR just like as a placeholder for Marley Valentine because it does sound really interesting. Of course I cannot remember exactly what I read about it right now while I'm doing this video because I'm terrible at planning but it was something that I'm interested in and I do know that it's MM. She also has a couple of other books that I was interested in reading. I know that she has one within uh, Serena Bowen's World of True North that I would like to get to. That one just doesn't have an audiobook, which kind of sucks. And then she does have another one that I think is called Ache, which I believe is about falling in love with your straight best friend when he's about to get married to a woman, which sounds all sorts of like, that sounds like all sorts of fun. So I do want to read that one too. Um, but just in general, a Marley Valentine book is one that I would like to read because I think I will like her. And I remember deciding to put Without You writing that one down because um, my friend who likes Marley Valentine thinks that I like that one. So that's why I wrote that one down. 
The next one that I have is Sicko by Ammo Jones. I have never read an Ammo Jones book. Ammo Jones writes like taboo romances and they always look really fun uh, but I've just never picked them up and Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl really likes Ammo Jones and she talks about Sicko a lot and she said that that would be a good place to start so I'm gonna try that one. I believe it's step siblings or foster siblings or something like that so it does have that taboo element but there's an audiobook and it's taboo and I'm I'm excited about that so I think that one will be really fun and I really hope I like that one. Another one that I have is The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. I have read so many age gap romances and I absolutely adore age gap romances. It's, again, one of my all-time favorite tropes. But the amount of older woman, younger man books that I've read is so minuscule. I think I can only think of two off the top of my head that I have read with older woman, younger man. And I need to get that number up. So The Pool Boy is one that I know a lot of people like. Specifically, I'm thinking of Jess from Peace Love Books really likes The Pool Boy. And they recently came out with an audiobook for it. So I'm very excited about that. I believe this one is a mom's best friend book, which I've never read before. Um, so the guy, the hero in it is his mom's best friend's pool boy. And they have a romance together. Which sounds great. So I'm excited about that. I do believe that one's on the shorter side so that'll be should be a really quick read and I'm excited. Then the next one that I have on my list is Lola and the Millionaires. This one is by Catherine Moon and it's part of her I believe the new series is called The Sweet Verse. Um, but I've read a couple of books in this series. I've read Baby and the Late Night Howlers and I've read Bad Alpha and I really enjoy both of those. Baby and the Late Night Howlers was just, I just recommended that one in my uh, reverse harem romance recommendations video and that one was really good and I really enjoy Catherine Moon's reverse harems. So I want to try Lola and the Millionaires. This is actually probably the more popular book, the one that I like originally saw on TikTok or something when it, people were recommending it. So this is like the one from that series that's probably more popular but I haven't read this one yet. And I know that so many people like this book and I based on my knowledge of what happens in Baby in the Late Night Hellers I do recommend reading that one first before Lola and the Millionaires because Lola is featured in that one and a lot of shit happens to her in that book that I'm assuming is going to play a role in her book. Um, I think her book is actually broken up into two parts so it's more like a duet um, but in Baby and the Late Night Howlers Lola is a character who is a beta and she has always wanted to be an omega. She is the kind of person who is like super jealous of Baby her best friend when Baby perfumes as a late blooming omega um, and she like uses Baby's scent while she's out um, and she gets mistaken for an Omega and a lot happens to her in ba Baby in the Late Night Howlers that makes her not trust Alphas anymore and I believe for her book Lola and the Millionaires she is confronted with being part of a pack of Alphas and she has to get over her fears and everything so I'm assuming that's what her book is about. Um, but I'm intrigued and I'm excited and I think it'll be different for an Omegaverse where the heroine is not an Omega and I don't even know if there is an Omega in their pack if because I know that she meets a bunch of alphas like men alpha ma males so I don't know if there's even an omega or if she just they form a romance without an omega I'm not really sure but I'm intrigued about this book and I think it'll be really fun. So I think that was actually the last one that I'm going to mention. Um, there are so many more authors that I would like to get to for a Polycon and Vegas so I'm thinking I'm actually going to make a specific dedicated TBR video for authors that I want to read from Polycon but if you have a recommendation for me for authors that are going to be at a Polycon their books which book of theirs I should read please let me know down in the comments or you could like DM me on Instagram or something because I have been searching to try and find which authors that I should read for a polycon of the ones I've never heard of. Um, so let me know if you have a recommendation. But other than that, that's it for this video. So I'm super excited about June and I really have like some high expectations um, that I should probably lower. But 
it'll be fun. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. So please like if you liked it. And I hope that you will subscribe and stick around so you can see more content from me. But that's it. So I hope you have a great day. Bye.